y'all. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So we just got a package at the door from Fenty and it is their new Slip Shine lipsticks. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So of course I'm gonna swatch all 10 of these with you guys on camera. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts, if I like them, if I don't like them. I'm gonna give you guys all the tea. So let me first tell y'all before we go in, cause I did have it pulled up. Let me give you guys a little spec. Um, these are sheer shiny lipsticks and they are to be launched on June 5th. I don't see where they listed the price yet, but of course I will update um, you guys if I um, find out what the price is. But yeah, they're launching on June, 4th, uh, June 5th on Fenty and also Sephora. So let's get into the swatches. So I'm gonna swatch these in order. They are numbered on the box as well. So you see the colors on the box, the name of the color, and also the number. So number one is called Quartz Candy. It is storming outside. But this is the white one. I was side eyeing this lipstick, y'all, when I saw it. This was before I saw the swatches. I was like, what am I gonna do with a white lipstick? But these are um, supposed to be sheer. Oh, for those of you who are very interested in packaging, <laughs> the packaging is very similar to um, their Poutsicle lipsticks, their Mademoiselle lipsticks. So um, here's just up close so y'all can see it better. But the color is a really pretty pearl shade but yeah I was like okay what I'm gonna do with a white lipstick but these are pretty sheer from what I've seen so let me swatch this one first oh yeah this is like a clear color Ooh, ooh, I like the shimmer in it it's like a pink that is pretty that's pretty Ooh, these smell good Mm. kind of like a vanilla fruity scent but this is actually cute I honestly was not expecting this to be this cute like even though some actually all of them have that shimmer in it y'all will see it once I start applying it but girl this is an everyday type of lip throw this on you don't even need a mirror just throw it on if you want a little bit of a gloss on the lip something with a tiny tiny hint um, like a tint to it because it does have a pink um, I don't know if y'all can see it really, but it's like a pink um, tint. It's cute though, really cute. Something I would throw in my purse, something I would just throw in my vanity if I just want to throw on just a shiny, cute lip. This is what I would throw on. And the texture, it feels like you have a lip gloss on. It doesn't feel like your typical lipstick. You guys know how lipsticks are kind of, they feel kind of thin on the lips. It's kind of like you're not wearing anything on the lips, but these you can like, it feels like I applied a gloss. It looks like I applied a gloss and I am really, really loving this color. Also, this, even though it has a little bit of shimmer in it, you can't feel it. Like it's really smooth, really creamy. It's not sticky on the lips. So this, Girl, this is the first one I've swatched and I'm already in love. All right, so number two is called Sugar Kiss. This looks like a bubblegum pink. Hopefully it's not like too, too bright. Ooh, that is pretty. This one doesn't even look like it has shimmer in it. Let me swatch it on my hand. Oh, wow. I thought all of them had shimmer, but this one doesn't even have shimmer at all. Like it's just a... Um, actually, let me put it on my lips and see. Yeah, see how sheer they are? But this is pretty too. This is pretty. Yeah, this is, let me put a little bit more so y'all can really see the color. Really bright pink. Yeah, I don't see any shimmer in this one at all, but this is how sugar kiss looks on the lips now y'all know me i would definitely pair a liner with this color something more on the magenta, uh, magenta side or like a plum um just to kind of darken out darken up the edges but it's a pretty color it's a really pretty bright fun bubblegum pink if you like these types of shades this is a good good color for right now like the spring and summertime really cute color and yeah this one I just don't see any shimmer 
in this one at all, but really cute. You know what, I will go ahead and swatch them on my hand because I know um, there are some people that still prefer to see the swatches on the hand. So I'm gonna start out with the first one that I swatched and then I'll just make sure as I go to swatch them on my hand. And the second one. All right, we are in order. So here's a close up of the first one and the second one that I already swatched on the lips there all right so number three is called tang thang this is a coral it's like a coral orange tangerine color let's see Ooh, this is pretty oh yes this one actually reminds me of one of the popsicles the color I forgot what the color is called, but it definitely reminds me of it. And now that I think about it, these are like, they feel just like the, um, their pouticles, really, really soft. Ooh, really soft, creamy, and glossy. Mmm, this is so pretty. Ooh, this is so pretty. Yeah, this one doesn't have I mean it may have the shimmer in it I just can't really see it um, it's just the first one that we swatched since it was a clear you can really really see the shimmer but these other two that I swatched I they just look like matte lipsticks so well not matte but it doesn't look like they have shimmer in it but this color is really really pretty oh yes I like it I like it I cannot wait to swatch the nudes like I cannot wait I'm gonna take my spine and go over my lip this is what I use to apply my foundation so that way it can kind of cancel out whatever color I put on the lips so next we have make out what is it called make out break number four this is a nude and I'm excited I am excited it's actually one of the lighter nudes Ooh, <gasps> y'all, I cannot wait, cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is gonna be so, like just looking at it swatched on my hand, this is gonna be so, so pretty with the lip liner, like a brown liner. Let me see how it looks on my lips. Y'all, <sighs> I'm sorry y'all, I get so excited with lip products. I'm a lip product junkie. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. It's lighter on my top lip because my top lip is darker. But this color, I live, I live, I live. I'm so, so glad they finally gave us some nudes. So glad. Mm. I live. Look at this. I mean, it is a little light, but just imagine it with a brown liner. I'm not going to put on any lip liner because I want you guys to see how these colors really look. But yes, again, this is called Makeout Break. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. I almost just want to whip out. Let me whip out a lip liner because I really want to see... I know it's gonna look good, but I'm still just gonna do it anyway. This is my ColourPop BFF3. I pretty much use this with everything. I'm just gonna line the edges of my lips with it. Okay. This is with a little bit of a liner, and you can see how I just toned down the like the edges of the lips. It looks so so good. This this one and number one, which was um quartz candy so far these two are my favorites like these two i feel like i would get the most use out of so far but yes i, I am loving it next we have number five in the shade glazed and this is another nude it's another nude yes 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 this one looks like it'll be a darker nude which it is definitely darker than that First one, swatch. Yeah, 
right there can you guys see right there at the bottom see how glossy these are I almost feel like this will be one of those colors that I can just throw on yeah I can tell right now I could just throw it on it's almost like a my lips but better color yeah oh yeah mm, this one's cute too this one is so cute I think with the swatches on Fenty they had all of them swatched like going down and you can really see the glitter but now that I see it in person you honestly can you can barely see the glitter which I'm not mad at because I prefer a lip product that doesn't have shimmer or glitter in it but they just look really glossy really shiny and i like this color so i'm really liking the nudes so far and also the um, few pops of color that i swatched i like those as well so i haven't really came across one that i didn't like so that's a good thing so next we have number six in the shade retro rose i want to say this is more of a mob Ooh, it is it is let's start swatching them over here oh yes right there there you go right there so let's apply this on oh my gosh these are so pretty y'all if I didn't receive these in PR I probably would have purchased all of these like not even kidding hmm look at that color <sighs> Fenty really did it with these like for real mmm I love 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 this color y'all it's such a good mauve rose color it's not too dark so you can actually get away with wearing this shade as an everyday lip as well. So if you want to do those no makeup makeup looks, you can throw on a, like a tiny bit of color on the lips. I think this will be the perfect, like perfect shade to just throw on the lips and go. You don't need a lip liner. You don't really need to put anything on top because they are already glossy. So yeah, really, really nice. Again, this is in the shade Retro Rose. I'm going to have every lip, um, every one that I swatched in order in my description so that way it won't be too confusing for you guys but yeah this is cute it's so cute so next we have gucci gang which is number seven and she spells it g-o-j-i i think I, I i hope i said it right but i want to say she meant to say gucci with that name but this color kind of reminds me of cool rose their cream blush oh it looks actually just like it it looks just like it Ooh. well no actually no not when I put it on the lips it looks a little different but in the packaging it looks very very close I think it's called cool rose that purple color this is cute mmm this is really cute it's kind of close to the one that I just applied but it's actually more pinky um, it's more dark well it's a little bit darker so if you're wanting a more of a pink tint to the lips, this one will be a good shade. This is pretty, y'all, yeah. I am obsessed with these lippies, y'all. Like obsessed, obsessed. The colors are perfect. The, the creaminess of them, the glossiness of them is perfect. Like perfect. They're not sticky, they're comfortable, they're buttery smooth. Ugh. Love, 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 love. I forgot to swatch this one on my hand before we go to the next color. Yeah, so you can see here, it's really close to the one that I swatched before it, but it's darker, it's a little bit darker than that one. So next we have cookies and cocoa and if I remember correctly this was going to be my number one choice if I didn't receive these in PR just from looking at it online and it's like a brown color y'all it's number eight 
obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with the color. Let me see how it swatches, what the color looks like when we swatch it. Oh yeah. Oh yes. All right. There's a close up. So this one's really, really sheer, but it's such a pretty natural brown nude right there. I am excited for this. Ooh, yes. I can actually see more of the, um, more sheen to this one because it's so sheer. So I can see, I don't want to say glitter because I mean, it's more fine than glitter, but you can definitely see the sheen. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but I can see it and I can see it in a swatch. I can see more sheen, more of that glow than I can in the other couple, um, the other swatches that we did before this color, but it's still a pretty color. It's still an everyday type of color that I would throw on when I just want a little bit of color on the lips, when I wanna go for a natural makeup look, kind of like what I have on today. Really, really, really pretty. And the color is perfect. It's so good. We have another nude in the shade Bubble Rum. This is number nine. So we have one more after this one. And this looks like another brown. Another brown. Ooh, this one is a darker brown. Ooh. Yeah, we are running out of room. Luckily, we have just one more left after this one to swatch. Ooh, this is pretty. Wow, that's pretty. Wow, that is pretty, y'all. All right, let's put it on. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure on their website, they're, they'll have like a better um, description of the shades. And if I can find it, I'll make sure to have it in the description as well under my video. But this is a good fall, winter, even an all year round lip. If you like this type of color, this brown brick, like, mm, I can't even describe the color, but it's so pretty and rich on the lips. So this is good. All right, so we finally made it down to the last one, number 10, and it's called Vamps Who Brunch. This color is pretty vampy. It looks like a purple. Oh yeah, this is a purple color. So those of you who love your vampy lips, this one may be for you. Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, it has a blue tint. It actually looks like the Galaxy Gloss. Remember those Galaxy Glosses, y'all? Oh yeah, this looks just like that gloss from the Galaxy Collection. It's a little bit darker though, and it's not as pigmented. Well, the gloss is not as pigmented as this, but this is pretty pigmented, like pretty, pretty pigmented. So you have a, a shift of blue, um, to it let me swatch it I didn't even swatch it for you guys and you can really see the um, shimmer in this because the shimmer is that blue iridescent look how pretty it is though yeah so this one and also number one um, quartz candy that very first one that one reminds me of one of the galaxy glosses too, the pink iridescent one I should pull those out. Dang, I don't even, it's somewhere in my closet. Not gonna pull them out right now, but if y'all know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so those are all 10 shades swatched. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, these are launching on June 5th, and once I get the prices and all of that, I'll make sure to update it down below in the description, but that is it. What color was your favorite? I feel like a lot of these, like, I can't even pick which ones I like the best. Right now I'm actually wearing um, Makeout, uh, I can't read, Makeout Break. It's so tiny on the packaging. But this was the fourth one that I swatched and then I put a little bit of the lip, um, ColourPop 
liner around the edges of my lips but I like all the colors the only one I feel like I won't really wear is the last one that I swatched which was that very dark vampy um dang they're all mixed up here it is it's called vamps who brunch yeah so this is a color I probably wouldn't really wear because it's a color that I won't really wear unless you know I'm doing makeup tutorials but just as a a color that I would just throw on on an everyday basis this is one that I would not um, but every all the other shades I really really liked I can definitely rock all the other shades I think the one that I have on right now is the only one out of all of them that I would actually pair a liner with oh and the pink one that like bubblegum pink shade I have these all scattered out <laughs> where is it the, oh yeah here it is um sugar kiss this one right here i would pair like a i'll probably pair a brown li uh, liner with this or a magenta something in the pink purple family but other than that all the other ones they looked really 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 good on the lips they're super comfortable they're not sticky and i think i already said that earlier but just to kind of follow up with you guys on my thoughts they are really 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 comfortable on the lips um not too shimmery so if y'all saw the swatches online and you were kind of steering away from the lipstick because you thought that they would be too shimmery now that i actually see them on the lips they're honestly not like too too shimmer i mean you see a glow you see the shine but you don't see glitter like you know some lipsticks have a lot of glitter in them and it's very very noticeable but these they don't you can see it a little bit but it's not like too 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 noticeable and i like how they're cream like it doesn't feel like they have that shimmer in them so um very soft very buttery very smooth very creamy and very very comfortable so that is all that i have for my first impression and review on these lipsticks let me know which one was your favorite honestly it's so hard for me to choose just one like one of my favorites but my top ones out of all 10 is um makeup break the one that i have on right now um the very first one i swatched which is quartz candy and then um glazed which is another nude oh, i liked all of these especially the nudes loved 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 where's oh um cookies and cocoa so these are probably my top four out of all even though the other ones are still really really pretty but yeah these are my top four and then my last like the one that i ooh, this one was good too bumble rum oh, all of these they're just so good they're so so good so let me know if you guys are going to be picking these up let's talk about it down below in the comments i hope you enjoyed oh, i got it on my teeth i hope you enjoyed me swatching these for you guys but yeah that is all that i have i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give me a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye